The horse unit right now is actually composed of about 60 acres. We've got two main barns. We have our exercise physiology barn, and then we have our palatability barn. We've got four different dry lots and then six different pastures are kind of the, the facility that we have to actually work with to do our research projects. We currently have 72 horses on site. Uh, some of those are registered thoroughbreds. The majority of those horses are registered quarter horses. We're in the, the treadmill facility right now. And some of the things that we've done to make this a better facility for research purposes is we've upgraded our control systems for our treadmill where it's completely computer controlled. We have the capability to do constant data capture with this new system. We have a video feed that's captured as the horse runs on the treadmill continuously also. Um, we have a new electrocardiogram system that's been installed so that we get super accurate heart rates on the horse and that data is recorded in time with the, the treadmill data that we get also, like the speed and the elevation and the distance that the horse actually covers. Sometimes it's a little hard to make the connection when you come here and see a horse run on the treadmill and say that's, that's really neat to see, but how does that actually compare to what I'm doing with my horse and that kind of helps people make a little bit more of a connection to why we do this type of work and why we need to understand how a horse run, runs and how it performs under exercise load. It's critical to keep those horses eating and we spend a lot of time testing different ingredients and different flavors and different feed forms to understand what the horse actually likes and what they want to truly go after. So we have one whole facility dedicated to doing that type of research and that barn is set up where we have stalls that have multiple feeders that sit in front of the horse, they're on scales, and then data is logged for how many times the horse tries each one of those different feeds and it's all stored. We know how much of each one of the feeds the particular horse ate, so we let them truly be a taste tester for us. And what that really comes back to is when our customers go and open that bag of feed, we want something that they put in front of that horse Every time they open that bag, dump that feed in, that horse goes right to it, wants to eat it, and actually likes that product. Part of the component of redoing our palatability barn was upgrading the stalls that we had in that barn. The feeders in that barn were there actually all outfitted with load cells so that as the horse eats hay, we can see each bite come out of the feeders. As the horse eats its grain, we can see each bite come out of that feeder capture that data to understand how big the bites are, how frequently they take the bites, how long it takes them to get through, say, four pounds of grain versus six pounds of grain. First and foremost, we really wanted to increase our, our research capabilities and take us to the next step above where we were in the past. So now we're really, in my opinion, one step above cutting edge. We've got capabilities here that nobody else has. So I think it takes us to a whole new level from where we were before and it just opens the doors wide open for what kind of innovation we can come through with in the next couple of years.